You may have noticed we're running out of time as far as 2017 is concerned. Perhaps now is a good time to get your finances in order. Uh, perhaps take a look at where things stand before we jump into 2018. Danny Harlow with Harlow Wealth Management joins us for that very topic here today. Uh, Danny, you're going to talk about five things we can do now to help us prepare financially for 2018. And topic number one is prepping for the tax season. Well, you know, January starts the season. And, uh, but right now is a good time to start getting organized for the end of the year. You can actually do kind of a dry run on your taxes as well, give you an idea of where you are. If there's some changes that you need to make, it's not too late to make some changes for 2017 before going into 2018. For an emotional standpoint, isn't it too much to take on? <laughs> With the, <laughs> the stress of the holidays and the stress of my taxes, can't I wait till they December 26th? They kind of go 26? hand in hand because if you look at the tax thing, you might decide to spend less during right, the holidays. That's true. Maybe Good point. Exactly right. right. That's uh -huh. exactly right. Um, in terms of other tips, you're talking about reducing your tax bill. We'd all love to do that, but what are some concrete steps you can take to do that? Well, first thing you want to start looking at is maybe your 401 K contributions. Uh, another thing that I like to mention to people right now, if you can make your mortgage payment, your January mortgage payment right now, you get the, the deduction for 2017. Good point. The other thing is looking at your 401k. You know, 401k uh, limits are going up next year. Just an extra $500 to $18,500 or in an extra $6,000 if you're over 50. So you want to take advantage of those 401k contributions as well. IRAs are still going to stay $5,500 for most people, an extra thousand if you're over 50. And don't forget those charitable deductions as well. You want to be able to take advantage of that. You mentioned IRAs. Uh, one of the points you brought up to help yourself heading into 2018 is converting to a Roth IRA. And I've heard that advice before. You go, okay, yeah, it's a good idea. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> what, what, converting guy? what to a Roth IRA? <laughs> well, I, I'm a big fan of Roth because I think having tax-free income in the future is going to be a huge advantage for people. But converting to a Roth, there's more to it than that. You really want to take a look at your tax situation before you do that Roth conversion. But remember the thing about a Roth, you don't get your upfront tax deduction from it, but you get that tax-free income in the future. So all of your earnings and everything from a Roth are tax-free, but it does fall under what we call the five-year rule. And that means that it has to be at least five years old before you can take all that money out income tax-free. Mm -hmm. But here's a tip. If you make your contribution any time during 2017, the clock starts January 1st in the year that you made that either Roth conversion or that contribution. So you're a year ahead of it. I don't mean to kill the, the segment, but I still don't even know what I'm converting. What am I converting <laughs> to a Roth IRA? My savings account? My, 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 my your 401k? IRAs. Your, your IRAs. IRAs. Yeah. I better get some of those. Final <laughs> tip. You say check your insurance. This is all insurance that you're paying out? Well, it's more about life insurance. You know, life insurance is a, a daunting subject as, it, as we talk about with people because it has to do with what happens to your finances after you pass away. So, you know, it helps your family make sure they're financially fit uh, in life insurance. Forbes says you should have 10 to 15 times your an annual income in life insurance. And I have a calculator on my website that can, you can actually go to and see what kind of insurance that you might Quickly need. Quickly tell us how to find that website, Danny. Absolutely. It's harlowwealth.com. All right. Easy to remember. Thanks so much for coming by. Thank you, Danny. My pleasure.